y'all. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm a little bit glam today. But hi, guys. It's your girl, Chantel Artist, and welcome to my channel. Listen, as you can tell by the title, I am going to do an unboxing. Also, how you cop one of these and my honest review of the tell far bag the what they what what they call it in these streets the 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 the, the brooklyn the brooklyn birkin the hood birkin i don't know i can't remember but um yeah so if you're new here hit that subscribe button and be a part of the family to all my subbies thank y'all for rocking with me i just want to show y'all something real quick i can't show you look, look at this dress Shein. come on Shein. That would do, I promise I'll do another video about a little mini haul for Shein. But let me get right into this video for why y'all here, okay? Um, I ain't gonna front, I did open it a little bit, but I didn't really like open it, open it. Um, so you're gonna get my honest reaction, but uh, okay. So it comes, listen, I went through a lot getting this back. That's gonna probably be another video. I'm just, like I said, it's gonna be another video. But anyways, um, comes in this like plastic zippy thingy with the Telfar uh, logo on it. Um, okay, you know. Um, comes with the dust bag, not too sure why, 100%, but you know, it is what it is. What's in here? Okay. Okay, oh, first, okay. Ugh. So, y'all, yeah, you see, this is how it's packaged, okay? Um, this thing that's holding it together, that that's holding it together. Let me just rip this open. Crease it. So this is not real leather. This is folks leather, um, y'all. And I got, I got something for Telfar. Um, Telfar, Telfar. <sighs> I have mixed, mixed, mixed feelings about this bag. It doesn't have any smell or anything on it, but I love the color. Oh. I love the color. I love the size. Fun fact. Okay. First, I'm going to... Okay. Let me talk about how you snag one of these bad boys. Okay. First. Okay. Before I get into the review. If you need... If you want the hottest bag right now, the talk in the streets, the tell far, the tell feezy, I got to tell feezy. If you want this bag... You got to dot your I's and cross your T's seriously when they drop. So let me tell you how <clears throat> some of the key things that you need to do for when, if you want this bag, okay? First, I would say follow him on Instagram. Follow, follow the company on Instagram. Definitely sign up for alerts on their website. Um, also, make sure you create an account, okay? Create an account on their website because when they drop, their bag literally sell out in, <clears throat> excuse me, their bag sell out in a minute, maybe two. And I'm not exaggerating because I tried multiple times to get this one. Um, I was stalking the yellow one. That's all I wanted. Like, seriously, that's all I wanted was the yellow one. There's three types of people, in my opinion, who get to tell far bag. One, okay, if you want to support a black-owned, queer you know, company, those people tend to like, you know what, I want to, I want to support. So if you want to support a black owned queer company and you fall in that category, you definitely can, you know, support him. Then there are the people who just like the hottest thing. They just want the hottest thing. They don't really care about designer, like a big designer or anything like that, or small designer. They just want the hottest bag and they want to rock it. And you know, like, yes, you know what I'm saying? 
Then you got the people who no designer, high-end designer, um, and they just want to jump on the trend. They literally just want to jump on the trend. So those are the three types of people that that's buying this bag, that's selling out, and that's getting it every time it drops. Um, for me, I fall in the category of, and I'm going to keep it cheap because I like high-end designer bags, but I have no problem buying, like, bags off of Shein or bags off of, like, like, literally go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something like that. I have no problem doing that, but I do like high-end quality design, designer bags. I have a little mini collection, okay? Uh, so for me, I felt on the category of wanting to support a black-owned, queer-owned company, okay? Um, but then also, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna front. It's, it's the end back. You know, it's, it's the end back of the season. But when I first saw it, I was not feeling, I was not, 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 not feeling, not feeling this bag, but okay. So I, I'm, I'm going off track. I'm going to go right back to how you get the bag. But anyway, so you have to sign up. I'm sorry. I just want to tell you my story. But anyways, you have to sign up on an account with Telfar. Now, when you sign up, you have to make sure your address is locked and loaded in there. My thing you should do is a mock fake account. I mean, a mock fake purchase. Just get the cheapest thing on there, like a like a, a, a t-shirt or a hat or a belt, whatever. Get the cheapest thing, put it in your cart. Fill out your address to the T. And then when you try to check out, tell by the company, the website is gonna say, hey, uh, I think you should use this address. You do it. You change it to exactly how they want the address to be. The zip code. When you put your zip code, usually people put the first what? The first five? Yeah, the first five and forget about the four. No, on this website, they want you to have the four. And I learned that the hard way because the first time I did it, I thought I had everything locked and loaded in my address. And then when I went to go check out, it was like, no, suggested this, is and that. So, yes. And if you live in an apartment, make sure you put your apartment on the second line. Just make sure you do that. For real, for real. Um, back in the day, so far on the website, um, you will be able, you could you was able to do Apple Pay, you was able to do um uh PayPal, but apparently they took that option off because I think there was a lot of um wrong addresses for PayPal and stuff like that. And I honestly think it helps people and stop the resellers and the bots because when you could just do PayPal and Apple Pay is really quick, you know. So I think they're letting people like you know that just want to buy and they can't get it and constantly missing the drop, constantly missing and getting sell out of minutes. I feel like they're giving that you know that space, that opportunity for other people. So kudos to you for that because like I said, the first couple of times it was really hard, but um, that don't stop you. You gotta think a little bit smarter. So what my advice is, save your card. No, you can't save your card on the thing, but you can, if you have an iPhone, and I'm sure Android has this, but you can save your card, right? On your iPhone and then put it in as autofill. And then when you go to check out, all it says autofill, yes, you click it, and all you have to do is remember the last three digits of your of your security code, of the security code. That's literally all you have to remember. If you remember that, you put that in. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't remember, just make sure you just have the card out on the back and just already just, you know, good and ready for that. Um, once you do that, once you get that, literally, first of all, once it turns, once it drops, usually it drops, I want to say, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., forgive me, but if you're on the West Coast, it is, I think, 6 a.m., right? Soon as it hits that time, you were, first of all, you make sure you're in the bag that you want, already looking at it. Don't be out of it. Be already looking at the bag that you want. And as soon as you see, so if you're in the small, if you're in the medium, if you're the large, make sure you're the one that you want. As soon as you see that, it's about to be that time frame. You refresh. You refresh. My advice, log in like five minutes earlier. Okay? Five minutes before it drops, log in. And then when it drops, boom, just refresh. As soon as it's fresh, hit that shit. Boom, add to bag. Boom. Go. Boom. <laughs> like, go to the cart. Boom. Check, check out. Boom. And it's going to say processing. Don't move. Don't do nothing. Let it think. Let it process. It's going to ask too about like a robot. You have to say, I'm not a robot, which is stupid. You have to click on, 
little pictures, whatever. But make sure you do that shit really quickly. And as soon as you pass that, you got yourself a bag. But like I said, the key part of it is making sure you already have an account. Making sure all your information, your addresses and everything, your address is perfectly to how they want it to be. They're suggested. And like I said, make sure you do a mock-up, uh, like a fake you know, purchase first to see because you, you don't know what they are suggesting. You don't know what they want and how you, they want your address. So you have to fake it to see what they say and then take a screenshot of that and then make sure you save it in just like that. And then have your card auto filled in. Remember your security code and then you're, you got your bag. <laughs> you got your tell feasy. Okay, so that's how you grab one of these suckers, okay? Is it worth it? is it worth it first of all the small is about 150 after taxes about 160 something dollars in my honest humble opinion it is not worth it for me don't come on here and get angry first of all it's not real leather it's not real leather there are so many other high-end designer bags that you can get a tote a lot bigger for the same price if not less mark jacobs has a tote bag mark jacobs is gonna be around for decades it's been around for decades it's gonna be around continually around you have um i don't know if you are aware but there's a tote company a, a luxury um designer bag called longchamp like their totes their classic totes way bigger way bigger it is a high-end designer bag same price if not cheaper you know what I'm saying? There's so many like shit. You could do Kate Spade. You could, you could do, you could do Coach. Coach is coming back. Like first of all, Coach never left. You know what I'm saying? But people aren't jumping back on the bandwagon. Okay, Coach is their leather. Their stuff is quality. It lasts a decades, decades, decades. So I'm upset at the price. If I, if it was me and my company, which is not. I would put this at $75 minimum, 100 max. And the reason why I say that is because he's still trying to be like, oh, a luxury. Because this shouldn't even be 75. This shouldn't even be 100. This definitely shouldn't be 150. I'm sorry. It's not, especially if it's not real leather and the stitching. There's like stitching that's like coming off a little bit. Like this. No, come on. Come on, come on. You listen, I'm a big Shark Tank fan, fan, plug, plug, plug for Shark Tank. And I study, like, I literally study like where do people get their stuff manufactured and all that stuff and 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 blah blah blah. I'm telling you, it doesn't cost that much to make this bag. I'm 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 almost certain it doesn't cost him that much to make it. So for him to sell it for 150, in my opinion, is a little bit too high. But this is where I struggle back and forth with that because at the end of the day, if this is if you feel like this is what your company is worth and this is what your product is worth, do it. Do it. Don't sell yourself short because of my opinion or other opinions. Don't. Don't. Because there was a article, okay, of a artist who sold a concept. For like nineteen thousand dollars, he sold an invisible sculpture for nineteen. Someone actually bought the concept, a concept, and he his 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 theory was you believe in God, so why can't you believe that this sculpture is there when it's not? He sold it for nineteen thousand. So if you want to sell your stuff for, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Will I be buying it again? No, I will not be. This is the only color, like legit. Like I said, when I first, when I was saying before, and I'm gonna get back to it. When I first saw this bag, I wasn't like, I wasn't a huge fan. I wasn't a huge fan. But not for nothing, my best friend was like, nah, I'm gonna give me, I'm gonna give me a couple of, I'm gonna get me like two. I'm gonna try to get me two because I really like this color. I really like this color. And she was sending it to me. She sent me like the medium. I was like, nope. It's trash. I'm sorry. I don't like it. She sent me the, the big one. I was like, no. Then she sent me the, the small one. And I was like, okay, that's kind of cute. Especially seeing people 
people how they rock it how they design it i'm gonna do a video one day about that too but yeah like seeing how people rocked it and really like put like put it together it it made me really want it even more because i was like okay this is cute um and i could sit here and tell you there's not that many colors that i'm like yes the yellow was the only one i was like yes um, the olive one, I do like the olive one and I do like the orange one, but I felt like I already had an orange bag, so I didn't want to do that. Um, and then there's like a new color that came out that I was feeling and it was like, um, I think it, I, I can't, I can't remember the color, but it was like on his spring collection and I was like, okay, that's cute. I, oh, that's really cute, but still not worth it to me in my opinion, but it's the talk of the town, um, you know. But let's 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 get with the name because what they call the hood Birkin. Come on, you gotta do better than that. Birkin's bags is like hundreds of thousands of dollars, thousands of thousands of dollars. Okay, don't compare that. That's almost disrespectful. First, I don't even like Birkin. I don't like Birkin bags at all. So I, someone will have to gift that to me for me before I am rocking a Birkin if I ever become rich enough to afford one literally they will have to gift it to me for me to be like and i will only like the small the small one because the medium and the bigger ones i don't like um i'm not a big fan of big bigger bags okay if you watch my 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 videos you know this but if you're new here that's why but um i say it's the hood it's a it's the hood michael kors <laughs> that's disrespectful no let me stop let me stop <laughs> but definitely y'all need to change the name for that because i'm sorry no no but anyways that's my opinion on this 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 bag right here to tell feezy to tell feezy and if you don't care if you don't care about anything that i said get you one but if you rock it and you understand especially if you are a big designer bag fanatic you know this is not up to par with the price range you know you just know so that's why i have to say what i have to say period um but my thing is will this company still be here and big five ten years from now is it sustainable that's what i kind of want i hope it is because like i said i that's the biggest one of the biggest thing of why i bought this back because i wanted to support a black owned queer at that business because i'm black and i'm queer so i'm like yes um and i hope his company gains longevity i hope it lasts decades decades from now i really do i hope it's not one of those things where you know you have those nostalgia and you're like looking back like damn you remember when back in 2020 everybody was getting the hood burke and everybody was getting the tell feezy i don't want that to happen for him so i hope that you know, in my opinion, if he, for it to last that long, he definitely have to start changing the material or changing the prices. But then it's like, you can't really go down. You can't go down. You can't go down with the price because you already set yourself so high. So you need to level up in a different way. Change the material, get better material. If, you know, if you want to sustain and be, you know, stand alone and, and, and be there, you know, because there's not that many black high-end designers so it's like do you really fall in the category of the high-end high-end that's what i'm talking about i'm not talking about just regular blackness i'm talking about a high-end fashion brand do you fall in that category so i said it's to say if you haven't already you made it to the end of this video hit that subscribe button to be a part of the family and let me know in the comments what you think about this <sighs> I got a selfie, see? A selfie. <laughs> Bye.